good morning. Um, this is lesson 3-4. Um, the goal of today is I can break apart add ends to help me add easily. And you're going to use that breaking apart to have a new strategy called compensation. Um, part of something that might be handy is um, this tens chart. There is a different video that you can learn a quick way how to make this. Um, but essentially, if you're trying to think of the partner pairs to 10 and what to do to make a quick 10, um, you might want to pause that and jot this down if this is something that you're still learning how to do a little bit quicker. Um, so let's go ahead and go into today's lesson. So break apart was something that was in lesson number three um, from topic number three in our lessons. Um, break apart was something that was a little bit tricky. So we're going to do a quick little refresher on breaking apart and then we'll talk about compensation. Um, so essentially break apart Um, is where you're going to break the second add end um, into tens and ones. So if I was going to break apart this number 22, I would break it into 20 and the number 2. When I'm breaking it apart, I'm going to be creating a new, easier to solve um, math equation. So when I'm breaking this apart, I often like to circle the first thing that I'm going to be doing. This will be my, my, my next step. Um, is to create a new equation, 45 plus 20. So I'm going to solve this equation, and then the sum that I get here, I will add over on this side so that I can also add 2 afterwards. So 45 plus 20. 5 ones plus 0 ones is 5 ones, and 4 tens plus 2 tens is 6 tens. So 65. If I put the number 65 here, it would be incorrect because I've only added the 20 to it. And my job is to add 22. So that's not the answer that goes as the sum. So 65 is what's going to go here. So 65 plus 2 is 67. And so 67 is what my answer is. There are a lot of kids in class that want to just look at this and say, oh, 45 plus 22, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 4 plus 2 um, is 6. So I'm going to just do it like that. Um, part of what second grade requires of you is that you learn how to do different strategies for math. There will be a time where you can choose any way that you want to, but for right now, you have to choose um, specific skills. So today, all of our lessons, you're going to have to choose compensation. You have to remember how to do break apart, which was from lesson number three, in order to use this compensation skill that we're going to discuss. So we're going to go ahead and move into the compensation. Um, we'll start with some easier problems, and then we'll build on from there. Um, so for compensation, let's start with 45, and we'll just add 7. Um, I'm choosing a number that I know is going to have to have regrouping, because you can only use compensation with regrouping. Um, when I'm looking at 45 and 7, I'm thinking in my head, hmm, what's the partner pair that each one needs to get to the next 10? Where did I stick all of those? Um, 45 needs 5 in order to get to the next 10, which would be 50. But 7 only needs 3 in order to get to the next 10. So I'm going to add 3 to this 7, and I'm going to turn it into 10. Since I've added 3 over here, on the opposite side, I have to subtract 3. The sum isn't going to change when I do this. And so it's okay. If this was a subtraction problem, we would not be able to do this. It only works for addition. So 45 minus 3 is 42. My new equation then will be 42 plus 10. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 tens plus 1 ten is 5 tens. So my sum is 52. We'll do another one. So when I'm looking at this, I've got 36 plus 9. Um, I know that there's going to be regrouping with the 6 and the 9. It's going to be a number that's greater than 10. Um, I'm going to look at this 6. So I'm not even going to worry about this 1's place. I'm trying to think, is it easier for me to add 4 on each side, or should I just add 1? Because that's what 9 partner pairs with. Well, 9 just needs one more to get to 10. It's really easy to add 10 plus a number, so let's do that. 
So I'm going to add one over here. Since I'm adding one on this side, I have to subtract one on the other side. So 9 plus 1 is 10, and 36 minus 1 is 35. I'm going to bring down my addition sign. My new equation is 35 plus 10. 5 plus 0 is 5, and 3 tens plus 1 ten is 4 in my tens place. So the sum is 45. We're going to do some more like this. If you want to just go ahead and fast forward because you already are ready for some two digits, that's fine. But we've got to get really good at adding the one digit, and then we can add the second one. Um, coming up next, here we go. 28 plus So 28, I'm thinking in my head, what number does 8 need in order to get to the next 10? 8 would need 2. I know that 5 and 5 makes 10. That's a lot more than just adding 2. So we're going to turn this into 30. So I'm going to add 2 to this one. I'm not going to add 5 over here. Nope, nope, nope. I have to subtract 2 from here. So plus 2 on this side, minus 2 on the other side. Notice that all of these equations are written horizontally. Um, that's what you're going to have to do on all of these equations. Even though you might want to think in your head, hey, I'm going to just write them vertically. Nope, nope, nope. Got to write them out this way. So 28 plus 2 more. We did that so that we could get to 30. Um, 5 minus 2 is 3. So my new equation is 30 plus 3. Plus 3, that's so good. We've got 33 as the sum. So um, we'll do one more and then we'll go on to adding or doing the compensation with several different digits. Um, one of the problems that you already have seen, um, and this will be on your guided practice page 107, I'm going to do number one. So the answer is 17, I'm sorry, the equation is 17 plus 9. Um, your book has already printed that adding three is what they did. I don't want to add three. I think it's much easier to add. I don't even know why I did it like that, sorry. Um, I think it's much, much easier to just add one. So I'm showing you an alternate way to solve um, the problem that's on page number one. I'm sorry, on problem number one, page 107. Let me just write that. Maybe it's 106, y'all. I don't even know, sorry. All right, anywho, so 7 needs 3 to get to the next 10, which would be 20, and 9 just needs one more. So I'm going to just add 1. For me, that's way easier. So 9 plus 1 is 10. If I'm adding on this side, I need to subtract from this add-in. So 17, take away 1, is 16. Bringing down my addition side, 16 plus 10. 6 plus 0 is 6. 110 plus another 10 is two tens. So the sum is 26. Now notice that you would get the same answer if you had chosen 17 um, to add that three over here. For me, I just wanted to add one. You can choose whichever one of those add-ins is easier for you. Um, I always try to pick just adding a little bit. I'd rather just add one instead of adding three. So your book chose a different one, and they're right also. 20 plus 6 is 26, which is the same sum that we just got as well. So both of them are going to get you the right answer. Um, it's kind of up to you which one you would like to choose. I like trying to push that easy button, and that's why I chose to just add the one and subtract the one from the other add-in. Um, let's look at a couple of problems um, where there are two-digit numbers. Um, one that you have in your book is 18 plus 15. So I'm going to break apart this addend of um, 15 because it's the second addend. When I'm doing the break apart, I'm, I don't even know why I'm saying this. Let me get a redo. Um, I'm going to look at these numbers, 18 plus 15. Um, 8 just needs 2 to get to the next 10. And 5 would need 5 to, um, to be added to it in order to get to the next 10. I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to add 2. That's way easier. So I'm going to subtract 2 from the other add end. 18 plus 2 more. We did that so that we could get into that next 10, which is 20. I'm going to bring down my addition sign. 
15 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 1 minus nothing is 1. 20 plus 13 is my new equation. 0 plus 3 is 3. 2 tens plus 1 ten is 3 in my tens place. So the sum is 33. This is using that new skill. It is called compensation. Um, we can do some more. See, that was not terrible. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be much quicker. Um, let's do 43 plus 29. All right, so three partner pairs with seven in order to get to the next 10. That's a lot. 29, this only needs one more in order to get to the next 10. I'm going to pick that add in to add to. So I'm adding one over here. If I'm adding one over here, I'm going to subtract one on the other side from that other add in. 29 plus one more is 30. 43 minus one is 42. My new equation is 42 plus 30. 2 plus 0 is 2, and 4 tens plus 3 tens is 7 tens. So the sum is 72. Um, remember with compensation that it has to be um, with numbers that need the regrouping. Um, I probably would not choose this strategy if it was um, something like 40 plus 15. It wouldn't really make sense to do all of that work um, for problems where where you, you don't have the regrouping. Zero plus five is not gonna add another 10 to anything. So I would not choose compensation for problems such as that. So you're gonna notice that your problems for your problem set on page one, starting on page 107 are all going to have a lot of um, similar things with the regrouping that's taking place. So let's try another one. What if we did 38 plus 18? I wanted to pick something that has a doubles fact in it as well, because um, having two same add-ins might become a little bit confusing um, if the, the ones place has the same number. So eight partner pairs with two, you don't get to choose another number. You have to add two to one of them and subtract two from the other one. So I'm gonna add two to my first add-end and subtract two from the second add-end. 38 plus two more is 40, and 18, take away that two, is 16. My new equation is 40 plus 16. Six, I'm sorry, 0 plus 6 is 6, and 4 tens plus 1 ten is 5 tens. So the sum is 56. Um, I'm going to show you that it doesn't even matter if you add it to the second one. So let's pretend I didn't want to add to that first one. I want to add 2 to the second add end, and then that means I have to subtract 2 from the first one. The sum is not going to change. Um, 18 plus 2 is 20. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 3 tens minus no tens is 3 tens. My new equation, remember this is an addition equation. My new equation is 36 plus 20. That's the different part. Um, but the sum is going to stay the same. 6 plus 0 is 6. And 3 tens plus 2 tens is 5 tens. So no matter which add ends that you're adding to, um, nothing is going to change. The sum is going to be the same. Um, this only is going to work for addition. This is not a strategy that you can choose um, by doing the add to one and subtract from another. Um, subtraction has different rules. So do not try this with a subtraction equation. Your sums, your differences, um, they're not going to end up being the same. Um, I'll do a couple of more. I feel like Right now, you don't have to keep watching the whole thing, but if you want to just keep watching, um, that's cool with me. Um, 43 plus 18. I feel like I just did an 18. Maybe that's my favorite number. I don't know. Um, anywho, 43 plus 18. Three partner pairs with seven to get to the next 10, and 18 partner pairs with, um, that, that eight partner pairs with two. So I'm going to just add two to this one over here. So I'm going to add 2, and I'm going to subtract 2 from the opposite side. 18 plus 2 is 20. 3 minus 2 is 1. So the sum of, I'm sorry, the difference there is 41. That's not cute. Let's try again. Um, 41 plus 20 is my new equation. 
1 plus 0 is 1. 4 tens plus 2 tens is 6 tens. So the sum of 43 plus 18 is 61. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. I think that's an, a lot of extra practice. Hopefully you're starting to understand compensation a lot more now.